Hi, I'm Ken Hoover. I'm one of the engineers here at MaxPro Technologies. And today we're going to give a quick overview of a custom triple gas booster system that we have designed and built here at MaxPro Technologies. This is a triple custom triple booster system that was designed for a specific customer need. This customer is working in the composites industry and using this to pressurize a large autoclave for curing and layup of composite parts. The customer has low pressure house nitrogen coming in off of a vaporizer at approximately 70 psi. Their goal is to charge their autoclave of approximately 70 cubic feet to 200 psi. This unit was custom designed to meet that need with three gas boosters in parallel to provide the high flow, quick fill that this system needs. The target fill time is less than one hour to charge from 70 psi house pressure to 200 psi working pressure. This particular system was designed for a minimal footprint in the customer's facility. That, for that reason, the boosters are stacked one on top of the uh, other which ends up with a tall unit that takes up a minimal footprint that can be placed against a wall in a utility area or in a corner to allow for maximum working area. I'm going to give you a brief overview of the controls and gauges on this panel and then we will go through a brief operation sequence of this gas booster system. On the control panel, we have pressure gauges and controls for inlet gas pressure, inlet air pressure, air pressure regulation, and outlet pressure. We have ball type shutoffs for your inlet gas source. Drive pressure on all three boosters, a pressure isolation, and a pressure vent valve. To operate this gas booster system, the first step is to open the gas shutoff pressure. This allows pressure to free flow through the unit from the low pressure source to the outlet and into the autoclave. This system has large diameter tubing throughout to allow for a high flow rate of gas through the system without the boosters running. This step is necessary to reduce run time of the boosters for long service life. To operate this unit, the customer will then open the air shutoff valves for each booster. It is intended to run all three boosters in parallel to allow for a quick fill time. Since there is very little volume in the test system right now, I will operate on only unit one. To increase the pressure, the air is turned on to the first booster, and the drive air pressure is slowly increased. As the regulator is turned, the booster begins to cycle. Pressure builds on the air pressure gauge, showing the drive air pressure and the outlet pressure increases to show the pressure boost through the unit. As I increase pressure, air pressure, the outlet pressure of the system boosts. This goes until the system reaches the pressure switch setting of 220 PSI. At that point, the pressure switch actuates and the unit shuts down. In the case of a large volume, this allows the unit to be run at high airflow and high speed and shut off at precisely the target pressure. Thank you for your time in viewing this video, giving a brief overview of one of the many custom systems that Maxport Technologies provides every day for our customers' needs. If a system like this or any other specific system is needed in your facility, please contact MaxPro Technologies through our website or via phone and we will be glad to work with you to meet your specific needs.